Hi friends, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. I am also good. So friends, in this video, we are going to see about Rail Vikas Nikam Limited Quarter 4 result. Okay. So about Rail Vikas Nikam Limited, I think I already said I need a correction in this company because the share price is overvalued. Keeping those facts apart, we need to discuss this result in a greater perspective. So friends, those who have time with me, kindly listen to this video fully. Those friends who just want to know the net profit, okay, this time the result is good when compared to the net profit basis. But for me, the net profit is alone not important. I always, always say this, the net profit is just an attribution to what the company has done. But what the company is fundamentally saying is going to be very, very important. So friends, first of all, what has happened here this time is that the auditor has given a qualified report, right? So qualified opinion, so friends, what you can say, basically an auditor should give an unmodified opinion. That is a good thing. But there are three types of opinion which could be in a bad way qualified opinion, disclaimer of opinion and, and adverse opinion. So these three opinions are kind of bad things for a company. So a qualified opinion means which means a company has also disclosed the same things in their report but auditor want to give an another important thing. So what they saying is that the auditor is saying is that GST has not been reconciled the first thing. Okay. So GST in the financial books, the parent company are subject to reconciliation to GST portal. So pending reconciliation and supporting documentations, we were unable to comment on the result and impact of the same with the company on the financial result, right? So this is the first uh, basis of call for open the auditor is saying. And second thing is the emphasis matter paragraph, friends, okay? Emphasis matter paragraph, when I was seeing this thing, what the uh, auditor is saying is that actually RVNL, that is the uh, head, the parent company, and it all it is it, it receives an advance payment from a, a joint venture companies usually but in case of one joint venture krishna i think krishna patnam railway company limited krcl the parent company is incurring project expenditures on a regular basis for but they have not received a amount back so to bit put it simply friends what basically happened here is that rvnl will incur expenditure for which rvnl will receive the amount from this uh, what is a so called uh, joint ventures but in case of a joint venture named krishna patnam railway company limited or krcl the company's rvnl is incurring several expenditures on a regular basis but rvnl has not received any amount during the quarter or the year and the total receivable amount by rvnl limited is in the tune of almost 1449 crores right and this is really a very very big amount okay so almost 1450 crores to be received from this joint venture i think according to it is a bad thing okay and what the basic reason is they said there has been representation made by krcl for waiver of departmental charges and pending initiatives by bod so other points they are saying and the third thing here is that some of the trade receivables other asset and other payable across the company are subject to reconciliation and respective parties and this is also important so which means trade receivables other asset and other payable across the company are subject to reconciliation we already see gst reconciliation now we are seeing trade receivables other asset and other payable reconciliation and the third thing is that this krcl uh, 1450 crores of uh, what to say joint venture amount is yet to be received so the first thought process after seeing this thing what i thought is that friends till now i have not yet discussed this financial amount this is only the company's fundamental things what is happening for me this is really very important for my friends to know it after finishing this video i kindly advise my friends who are holding harvin limited to go and discuss and go and see at least this financial reports you could go and see in bc website also you can read about these things okay so basically when i saw this about krcl i had a doubt in myself okay so if this quarter is going to be released, what would be the previous quarter right so when i see the previous quarter the amount was as on december 31st 2022 the same kind of op has been given for almost 1431 crores okay this quarter it is i think 1449 crores previous quarter it is almost 1431 crores so almost 19 to 18 crores is the extra amount that has been added now i had another doubt after seeing this so if this going to this case what would have been the previous year the same quarter so when i go on and see as on 31st march 2022 also the amount is 1368 crores so basically 
as on 31st march 2022 the amount is 1368.28 crores but when you see as on 31st march 2023 the amount is almost 1449.59 crores so if i if i would say so called subtract or add this i getting an amount of almost 81 crores approximately so over the period of time almost 81 crores has been added in this uh, what is a receivable account and this is a remark that i want to show to you apart from this thing friends if we know the financial things okay and the company has declared dividend of more 36 paise the company is doing it good but this qualified opinion gst reconciliation trade receivable reconciliation and almost this thing friends this this krcl this thing okay and this is really a very very important thing that my friends should always see in an auditor's report and that is why i spent many many of my time in explaining that because once you cover all these things i think the result wise it will be easy friends the revenue from operations almost 5875 crores and the net profit is coming in the range of almost 478 crores if we compare the with the previous quarter it is 403 crores if we compare the previous year it is 464 crores so as on year on year basis as well as as on a quarter on quarter basis also the result is good but you you are going to ask me this thing right and i have explained this thing the company has also disclosed this thing i will show you that also right and this is what i said the company also disclosed this thing the trade receivables and other payables confirmation things and regarding this krc also they simply just print these things but what is very important to me is that a company having this kind of market capitalization a call it is giving qualified opinion according to me uh, is not a great thing okay and since the company price has been already overvalued in the market i have spent about this as a possibility of correction we are going to see that also friends okay so just me just give me a time second okay so this is the technical pattern of rnl okay so technical chart if you ask me i already explained to you uh, money flow index has been peaked and also accumulation distribution is been happening and already rsi has also been peaked so if you ask according to me what i'm saying if you go and check my last video regarding rnl also there is rail vikas nigam limited also i said the same thing i expect a correction in this company due to many reasons friends one is that a company share price is strong i mean once upon a time we were also uh, a great uh, also great favors of rvn limited and we also used to speak about this and this company has achieved the target now based upon this uh, rvn things as well as based upon this uh, qualified opinion and depending upon the corresponding market price i seriously expect a correction again i am retreating my targets level again 98 rupees to almost 102 rupees at least 98 rupees to 102 rupees i firmly believe there's a greater chance that this company will break the three digit levels and it can go to two digit level again because there was a sudden spike in the market which it cannot be able to control i believe there's a possibility of correction so If you are listening until right now, so thank you, friends. If you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button. Also share this video to your friends so that all could know about this thing. And I kindly request you to go and study the result on your own. Also take your due diligence before investing in this company, friends. Thank you and bye.